Yeah, this is a tough one for me. I've been um, good friends with a lot of the Ravens people for a long time, uh, going back to when I came to Maryland in 89. So, you know, it's tough to root against the Ravens. It's amazing what RG3 has done just in terms of his poise. Obviously, he's a great talent, but he's handled all the pressure that comes with being a quarterback for the Redskins as well as anybody could handle it, whether you're a rookie or a veteran. And I think the Redskins out today, they can get the win today. That puts them in great shape. So, you know, hopefully both teams will make it. All right, that was Gary Williams, former basketball coach at the University of Maryland, saying some good things about Robert Griffin. Well, I'm Marvin Jackson, talking some Redskins football with Donna Hopkins, Barry Barnes, and Nicole White joins us again with some interesting news about what the NFL is doing this season for a certain group of fans. That's right. American football has quickly become the most popular sport in the U.S., with over one-third of American adults ranking it as their favorite sport to watch. One demographic of fans that continues to grow exponentially is women, and the NFL is taking note. Last Sunday at FedEx Field, Tanya Snyder, the wife of Redskins owner Dan Snyder, partnered with actress Holly Robinson-Pete, who serves as the official spokesperson for NFL home gating, to mingle with fans at the first ever Redskins-style lounge. The in-stadium pop-up boutique geared towards female fans was one stop in a series of style lounges that will hit only nine NFL cities this year, and the place was packed. We're so happy to have her as a part of the women's initiative and there's typically been so much the man cave. She's taken the man cave concept and she from having home parties um, has, it's beautiful, it's elegant. I'm the new spokesperson for the NFL's home gating campaign and it brings the stadium experience to your house. And it's about football, family fun, togetherness. I am the RG3 of my Sundays at home. That's how I am, yeah. I, may, I call all the plays, the audibles, everything. We used to have to tie the jersey on the side and put a big belt. Now we have these cute tops and we have a great opportunity to look good while we're rooting for our team. And we've got to hold on, a little back up. Right? We're acknowledging the women and letting them know whatever your style may be, from A to Z, we have it here. This is about fun today and letting, embracing the women. So I'm very proud of the NFL. The lounge featured a live DJ, complimentary burgundy and gold manicures, a photo booth, and a team of professional stylists. Visitors such as our own Donna Hopkins were able to shop for stylish NFL merchandise while enjoying a fun and memorable experience geared toward the ladies. I like that. They, they had some great items. Yes. I, I was making my list for Santa. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Christmas is coming up, man. Take oh, note. Oh, okay. All right. And I was there, too, and I really enjoyed it. Got to meet Holly Robinson Pete. So well, listen course, to how you said that. Yeah. <laughs> you still remember the that back. That was the highlight. <laughs> the back. Exactly. I know, but it's really great that the NFL is catering so much towards female clientele. Right. Um, you know, there's so many females who are fans now, who watch yeah. the games, who mm -hmm. are just as into it as the men. So right. it's nice that we have our own apparel now as well. Yeah, it took a mm -hmm. long time for that to happen, too. Right. You think about how many years the NFL has been in existence. Right. And, you know, like you said, nine teams will be doing this. Right. And hopefully by next year, everybody will catch on to this. Right. right. And women right. look better than they get anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We had some history made in New York at the Downtown Athletic Club. Why don't you talk about that? Yes, we did. Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football, made history by being the first freshman ever to win the Heisman Trophy. Yeah, that was good, but, you know, Matt Titeo, come on, give some love to the defense. I'm with you, Barry, on that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I think we were all rooting for Manti and Johnny. I mean, yeah. all of the guys, Colin Klein as well. I think they were all great contenders, so... Yeah. You know, it went to Johnny, but yeah. uh, I know that Manti did win some other awards, as yeah. you were mentioning before. Yeah, the Maxwell Award. That's right. actually the, the second highest, you know, award that's given to the best college player in the country, you know. But it's a great accomplishment for what Johnny Football was able to do. Now he's trying to see the parents trying to capitalize on that money, so they want to try to 
make all that money off of their son's name. Yeah, well, I tell question. you what, you yeah. said it right though. Johnny Football. That's how he won it. Came yeah. up with that right. name. name right? I tell you. Now let's talk about the Redskins in Cleveland. Okay. Uh, wow, what has to happen for the Redskins to win that game? And will Griffin play? Well, well, you know what? Personally, if I was saying if he would play, I would probably hold him out because that's not an injury that you can just walk back and be effective, and he won't be 100%. So why not put Kirk Cousins out there but just ha but, but have RG3 right there on the sideline? Mm, but I think that the waiting. Redskins have to do what they've been doing, and mm -hmm. that's running the ball. All right. I mean, that's the key thing. What about right. you, Bear? Well, first of all, they got to find a way to stop. Cleveland from running the ball because Trent mm -hmm. Richardson, you know, he's a monster. <laughs> you know, last week Ray Rice dumped truck all over the, the mm -hmm. Redskins defense. You know, so they had they're gonna have to actually have to stop a more physical running back. So they able to stop, yeah. you know, um, stop him. Also control that passing game because they do have you know several receivers out there that you know that the Redskins have to account for. If they can find some way to keep those receivers in front of them, find some way to get Garcon active in this game because he's gonna have a tough you know tail that's you know to try to. Um, you know, being covered by Joe Hayden. So, so this could be, be a battle game. of the running games. Right. Pro with Morris so. running for the Redskins. Right. Uh, people are saying, especially if Griffin doesn't play, he may have to run more. Anybody yeah, and the other thing, too, is is that the Redskins defense can get off slow. I mean, the last few games, they get off slow in the first mm -hmm. half. Uh, you know, they trade touchdowns. They put up 20-some points or so. They can't afford for that to happen. They can't mm -hmm. wait until the second half and then start to play because this game will be over. But to me, Cleveland is scary. That's a, yeah. that's mm -hmm. a dangerous team. Well, you you but, say uh, Hayden can stop. Uh, Garcon. Yeah, right? I, I, th I don't think you know Garcon is going to be that much of a factor this week. You know, Joe Hayton, he's one of the underrated shutdown corners in this league. Hometown so Josh guy. Morgan is definitely going to be let, that guy. Let me just say up. this, Barry. No. That is not going to happen. That's oh. what I say too. <laughs> that is not going There's to no happen. No way he's going to stop Garcon. It's going to happen. Y'all going to both call me on Sunday. <laughs> but the Cleveland Browns, their mo has been that they play well in the three quarters. Their fourth quarter, they find some way to give it, you know, give the game away. When they played the Steelers, the Steelers shot themselves in the foot. Yeah. When, when they played the Chiefs, you know, the Chiefs, you know, come on, they've been struggling all year. You know, so in the Cowboys, they just, you know, just had a bad game from the Cowboys. So they technically didn't necessarily come out there and just actually oppose their will, except for the Chiefs last week. The all Chiefs right. got the, the Redskins. All right, well, exactly. Nicole, what do you, what do you think? The you know what, I, Cleveland? I'm giving it to the Redskins this week. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I see is if RG3 doesn't play, which I think he will play, and mm -hmm. I kind of think he should play, actually. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't play, I wonder if the defense will start to key in on Morris because you have, you've always had Morris and right. RG3 as the running threats. But if RG3 is out of the game, we know Cousins can run, obviously, right. because he's shown that in games prior. But mm -hmm. it also puts more of a target on Morris's back. Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing about it is Cleveland does not know which quarterback is going to start. Right. And they won't uh, make that announcement probably That's until right. game time. All right, All right, your prediction. I have the Redskins. Ten seconds. I definitely have the Redskins. Watch out for those blitzes that the Browns are going to send. They're very creative with that. Okay, Redskins. Redskins at least by 10. By 10. Wow. Nice. So 10. All right, I'm going to take the Redskins by three. I just love that field goal kicker. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope it doesn't come down to that. I want it to be straight out. <laughs> and that, that'd be fine, too. <laughs> All right. well, thanks so much, uh, Nicole, Thank Donna, you. and Barry, mm -hmm. for being here. Uh, right. You all were great guests, as always. Thank you. And uh, thanks to Redskins rookie defensive back Richard Crawford. I think mm -hmm. I'm going to call him Dick Crawford. Dick uh -huh. Crawford. He doesn't know that yet. Call trip. <laughs> call or RC. Just call him Playmaker. Call him yeah, Crawford. Playmaker. Playmaker. That's right. <laughs> All right, and happy holidays to everybody, and be safe out there on the road. I'm Marvin Jackson. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I know. <laughs>